talking about caring and helping others. You plan with what you're doing now to help millions of people that really, really need help. It's been a personal mantra of yours, taking it on to the personal level. Could you briefly tell us about the six, the three special <coughs> needs children that you adopted? Yeah, we, well, yeah, but my wife and I have adopted three children. They're all from Latin America. They all had special needs. Um, they're wonderful kids, wonderful kids. Um, and we didn't go out to adopt special needs kids. It just turned out that way. <laughs> so it's, uh, but I'm very proud of them. Uh, David was the first one from Peru. We got him in a year. Uh, we were told he had a cleft lip. He had cleft lip, cleft palate. If anyone knows what that is, that's major craniofacial reconstruction for years. Um, and he's also on the autistic spectrum. So that's a lot of hand holding as you start to understand that. My daughter, we adopted, they said she was three months. We we're sure she's six months. She was less than six pounds in the mountains of Peru in the middle of a cholera epidemic. Um, and we've had to homeschool her, but I think maybe this year we'll get her through college. And then uh, my younger son, we adopted from Honduras, hole in the heart, obviously premature, gastric reflux for the first three years. We had him sleeping upright in the chair, strapped in. Um, really good kid. So these are the things that you, they change your life. We never, like I said, you kind of adopt and know, oh, wow, they've got needs just like your own kids. It's no big difference. And you take care of it. But do you think this causes, from the personal level now to the professional level, it causes this incredible passion, determination, to really help out so many millions of people because that they give you the drive, the inspiration. Yes, but you know, it's sort of, uh, you can always look around you, there's someone that's got worse problems. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go to a craniofacial reconstruction clinic, you can't believe what goes on mm -hmm. in, in young children. I mean, our son was lucky. So it's, um, but, it's creating not a legacy of fame, it's a, it's a lesson to your children. And, you know, they always talk about, we know what dad's trying to do. Dad's trying to cure cancer. Boy, that's a big lesson. And we moved in Santa, one thing on that too, it's not just what dad does, you know, we moved to San Antonio. There's two major industries in San Antonio, the military, it's Military City USA, and it's healthcare. Healthcare is the number one thing there. It's, you know, medical tourism from everywhere. It's hundreds, uh, not hundreds, you know, tens of thousands of doctors, nurses. So when you go to the grocery store, everybody's in fatigues or scrubs. And it's a community of personal responsibility to your community. And it, as a parent, that's one of the reasons we moved there. It's, uh, I don't have to say everything every day, just go to the store. See everybody around you trying to do that. And it's a great message. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's, not about me trying to do everything, it's we all should be doing this. And there's, I'm surrounded by people, doctors, nurses, et cetera, that are really working hard, a lot more selfless than me. Mm. 